Hi, this is Tom Mahoney. I'm going to show you how to make calls quickly and easily using the Robotalker.com web interface. After you log in down here at the bottom, the tabs will change. Many of them will go away, and you'll be left with Message Manager, Add Units, Contact, and Home. Go to Message Manager, upload your data files, and I already uploaded one. I'll upload it again. But we go here, we pick a file use the CSV format I am going to find it test group okay and where did I get this uh, file this is what it looks like it's simply name phone group the groups are for grouping of course name you can leave a blank you don't leave a blank put like person or name in there and then a uh, phone number and then the group you can get the template by just downloading it right here click on this or you can also get on the bottom of the page. There's also a t template download here. So once you get that template, put your numbers in it, choose it. I'm going to replace all the entries that are in there because I uploaded it a little bit earlier. The header contains information at the top so you don't lose the phone number and upload it. That's it. So it's successfully uploaded. It can be hundreds of thousands of numbers. It's fine. It'll, it'll work. Now come over here. Here's, you can see I uploaded a little bit earlier. I just uploaded it again. I can view my list of recipients that are on there. Test group numbers, names. I'm going to go back to Message Manager. Create a message. I can do this a couple different ways. I can go and put a name for it. This message. I can use my telephone. That's fairly straightforward. You call this number. You select number three option. You insert the key everyone has a unique key. You record the message when prompted up to 90 seconds in length. After you're happy with the recording you press 1 to accept it. If you want to make multiple recordings it will prompt you and you can make 100 recordings at one time if you like. And then uh, after you're done with that you can create a broadcast and choose the one. It pops up on your list automatically. So I'm going to go back here to this and I'm going to choose upload mp3 file. I'm going to browse and go find the file. I've already uploaded it, so we're going to do it a second time. Submit. We, let's say we submit it. Click. There's a submit. Now I'm going to go look at the two files here. This message and this. So there's the message I just uploaded. I can play it. Make sure it's correct. Would you like to lower your mortgage payment by two to five hundred? Okay. Come back here. Now I can schedule a call and you can see they're right in the order you'd upload it you take the message and do this let's create a new broadcast very straightforward uh, R, 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 R is the name of this broadcast we have to know what time zone you're in in order to do the broadcast it saves the last one that you were in so I'm gonna go I'll say I'm in Eastern Standard Time this time I want it to send out today the 14th I want to start at I'm going to pick noon because it's past noon here. And I want them to end at 12.30. So I have four calls. They'll be spaced four minutes apart. That's how it works. You can pick the rate that you want to. You want up to 50,000 calls per hour or 500 calls per hour. How many people do I have answering the phones? Let's say I have three people or four people answering the phones. It will pause the dialing while the people are on the phone. So if, you, if your lines are busy, it will pause the dialing. Only deliver to live persons if I want. And I can also set up, which is one nice thing we have, is we have weekly, daily, yearly uh, phone calls. So it works quite well. We're one of the few companies that have this uh, um, reoccurring calls for like water bottle deliveries or coffee deliveries, things like that. I go next. I pick the group I want to go out to, test group. And... Uh, did I put the caller ID in? I go next. And the caller ID I put in is 818-307-6810. That's my number. I pick a message for that. Say this message, the one I just uploaded. And now for voicemail, I'm going to use a totally separate message. Because let's say it's a political announcement. I could have a, a message that is uh, an in-your-face uh, vote for Tim Akins. Uh, he's a good guy, I've worked with him for 20 years, a testimonial. 
for the for the voicemail message, I would give something like, "Hi, this is Tim Akins. I'm calling people in my area. Sorry, I missed you. I'm calling people in my area to tell them about why you should vote for me." So we have a totally separate message for the for the voicemail. The the system detects the difference. I hit finish. The little bar goes. Scheduling the calls. That's it. Phone rings. I'll answer the phone. Hello? Would you like to lower your mortgage payment by two to five hundred dollars a month? That's just how easy it is. Thanks, Tom Mahoney, Robotalker.com. Come take a look.